On your mark. Get set. Slither! Coaches seems to have raced onto the track. That is an automatic disqualification. Greetings, my fellow SpongeBob fans. I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about more SpongeBob mistakes that you definitely missed. By the way, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you comment and you're subscribed, YouTube actually shows me, and I'll respond for sure. Anyways though, let's get into these mistakes, baby, let's go. Our first error can be found in the episode A Flea in Her Dome, an episode that's all about Sandy bringing home a flea after a little trip to Texas. As you can imagine though, that one flea eventually turns into hundreds of thousands of fleas, thus resulting in quite the dilemma. But don't worry, Grapple Gang, by the end of the episode, Sandy figures things out by pretty much drowning all of the fleas with salt water. Harsh, but hey, they're fleas, so they kind of deserve it. Now the mistake in question isn't some crazy error where Spongebob is missing an arm or something, I will admit, but it's still pretty funny. At one point, Patrick eats an apple from Sandy's tree, but this would actually be impossible due to the fact that this tree is obviously an oak tree, and has always been an oak tree ever since like the show's first ever season. In a later scene, Sandy even picks up an acorn to throw at all of the fleas. So yeah, it's definitely a mistake. Oh, also, Patrick is literally wearing a water helmet too, so how did he even take a bite? Yeah, just this scene in general is very messy. Here's some clips. Now, I'll get on top of you! Ah. Oh, much better. I do not play games. Oh. Hold on. One of my favorite episodes is season three's The Great Snail Race and this is due to how funny the plot is. In this episode, Squidward, Spongebob, and Patrick all enter their pets into an epic snail race, where the winner receives a massive prize. This eventually messes with Spongebob's head though, resulting in him pushing Gary way, way too hard, to the point of exhaustion. Now the mistake in question can be found closer to the ending of the episode, and has to do with Patrick's pet rock. Yeah, instead of a snail like Spongebob or Squidward, Patrick entered in with a pet rock. Very funny. At the beginning of the race, we can see Patrick's pet right here. However, seconds later when Gary spins out of control, Rocky has just disappeared from the field and is no longer racing. Talk about a subtle but weird mistake. Here's a clip. This is what you've been training for, Rocky. This is why we're here. On your mark. Get set. Slither! seems to have raced onto the track. That is an automatic disqualification. Sheldon Plankton is always scheming, but I will admit his plan in the episode Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob was pretty smart. In this episode, Mr. Krabs uses Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy, and Man Ray for a commercial to promote the Krusty Krab, and this marketing plan is a major success, with Mr. Krabs' profits rising fast. This, of course, just annoys Plankton. So to combat Mr. Krabs' success, he creates some sort of mind control shampoo, and uses it to manipulate Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy into saying terrible things about the Krusty Krab, thus hurting the restaurant's reputation. Like I said, it was actually a pretty good plan by Plankton. Now the mistake in question happens fast, 
But at the end of the episode, when we get this outside shot of the chum bucket, the path that normally connects the chum bucket to the Krusty Krub is missing, despite it literally being there in the next scene and in numerous other episodes. So yeah, definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. To the Krusty Krab away! I made Chummy Joes! <laughs> Our last mistake is hidden in the Season 8 special, A Square Pants Family Vacation. In this episode, we get to see Spongebob, Patrick, Spongebob's mom, and Spongebob's dad go on quite the family adventure with them heading out to the Great Barrier Reef, while giving us numerous, hilarious scenes along the way. I really like this episode, due to Spongebob's parents getting some much-needed screen time. But what I didn't appreciate was this mistake. Now, it has to do with Pearl, and it happens fast, but pay attention to her mouth. Normally, she has heart-shaped lips, but in this one scene, they are completely gone. Now I'm going to show a clip with audio, but before I do, I just want to give a shout out to the Grapple Gang. All of you guys here right now, some of you guys are probably at the premiere, and if you are, say something in chat, yo yo yo. Shout out to you guys, and by the way, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be responding to all comments of subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, YouTube shows me, and I'll respond for sure. You just have to subscribe. Anyways though, I love you guys, and here's those clips with audio. By the way, I'm going to be live streaming soon, so turn on post notifications. Turn on the bell. All right, peace. Here's those clips. Bye. I'm so glad you all could make it. Tonight is going to be a magical evening filled with magic. Hey, uh, SpongeBob? Yes, Mr. Krabs. Can we Get the magic and get right to the free money. How about the latte zipping? And what about the pumping of the iron? The real reason I called you here was to watch this slideshow of photos from my family vacation. I, I knew it was... Too good to be true. <laughs> it's so I'm like SpongeBob. I had to find my movie-watching hat. That does it. I'm gone. Yeah, my <laughs>